The second American missionary fighting the often deadly Ebola virus is now at a hospital in Atlanta. Nancy Reipold joins Dr. Kent Brantley of Fort Worth in an isolation unit at Emory University Hospital. She had to be wheeled into the hospital, but he managed a couple of days earlier to walk in on his own wearing a protective suit. Both of them worked with Christian mission agencies in Liberia. Todd Phillips does as well. He's founder of an organization called The Last Well and back from Liberia on Sunday. On Sunday. Did you leave because of the danger? No, not at all. It was just the scheduled departure date. Um, we were there for two weeks to work with the ministry that we're working with and try to provide clean water to the entire nation mm -hmm. of Liberia, something truly historic. In the midst of all that, the Ebola outbreak really, really, uh, really moves forward and starts to get some steam, unfortunately. So we were right there in the epicenter of it. Now, and, and you make a fascinating point, which that as horrible as Ebola is, waterborne illnesses are worse. Well, that's what's amazing, right? Ebola is screaming its presence internationally, as it should, because we need to contain that. But it can only be contained. It can't be cured as far as we have the situation we know right now. What can be cured is waterborne illness. The same number of people are dying weekly in Liberia alone, the same number as Ebola has killed over the last five months in three countries. And people don't know that. What, what was your entry point what why Liberia and you're and you're trying to reach the entire country not just but clean water but with the gospel that's correct we're trying to use really water as a tool on the earthly side of things to earn the right to talk to them about who Jesus is and uh, we started this six years ago we've reached about 600,000 people so far with water and the gospel and six years ago what we realized was that water was a massive need just like we talked about the numbers of people dying on a weekly daily basis is uh, is really unbelievable right in addition to that, we began to understand that Liberia uh, was, according to uh, the USAID, um, uh, the UN, and others, the second poorest country in the world, just over a dollar a day per capita income. And also, it's, there's a misery index that the CIA fact book keeps. And Liberia is the second most miserable place to live. Wow. According to that, Afghanistan and Iraq are number nine and ten. If, when you bring to a village, give me an example of what happens. You go into a village. What does it cost? How long does it take to transform this village that, where people are drinking contaminated, filthy water out of a river or creek to drinking pure water out of a well? Well, it's really, it's incredibly um, small cost uh, for the, the ability to reach six, seven, eight hundred people. It's three thousand dollars for a, a well to go in and then that uh, we teach them how to uh, repair it. We go through a training process and an assessment process there and so once they receive that well and receive that gift, uh, they're able to repair it and keep it going for 20, 30 years. These things have incredible long lifespans, so you really can affect a village for life. And then you move on to the next village. Yeah, we've done with, 622 with, so far. Right, with, with the same mission. It is fascinating. You're going to be talking with folks about that uh, tonight, I understand? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, at the Dallas Athletic Club, uh, 6 p.m. to 7.30. Uh, right. We're really excited about that. Anybody's welcome to join. All they've got to do is go to thelastwell.org, right. go to the contact page, email me, let me know they're coming. Okay, and we've got a link on our website, myfoxdfw.com. Thank you so much. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you.